Is Indian national defense strategy in serious trouble? These visuals and images of a new Chinese sixth generation fighter jet have taken over social media. The images from December 26th show a large, tailless fighter jet that appears more formidable and much larger than its fifth generation counterpart, the Chengdu J 20. It's just huge. The new jet features not two, but three engines in a truly unique design. Two positioned at the bottom of the fuselage and one on top with an intake above the central engine. This radical design sets it apart from everything we've seen before and redefines the concept of fighter jet design. It looks straight out of Star Wars. Defense commentators believe China has just revealed the prototype of its much-hyped sixth-generation fighter dubbed Beidi or the White Emperor, a fighter with some truly futuristic features. The baby is said to be capable of supersonic flight and could even operate in near space or stratospheric environments, though the space part is still speculative. The sheer scale of this leap forward shows that China is not just advancing, it's redefining the game altogether. Of course, this is just a prototype and the qualities of this supposed sixth generation jet remain unproven. But undoubtedly, China is now pushing even the United States of America in aviation technology. While the US Air Force's own sixth generation jet, the next generation air dominance or NGAD has already taken flight and reportedly broken several records in the process, its operational deployment is nearly a decade away. Chinese developments have left India to play catch up with its own AMCA, whose first flight is expected in 2026-27, but induction is only scheduled in 2035. But while we wait for the AMCA, China has already unveiled its sixth generation fighter jet that in concept could already be far superior and it's already flying. The AMCA is supposed to be India's answer to its aging fleet and an essential component of Indian Air Force's future capabilities. But with its first flight still years away and the complex task of developing or acquiring a new engine for the fighter, India's air defense strategy is hanging by a thread. The AMCA is expected to use the GE F414 engine, which it will share with the Tejas MK2 fighter jet. But technical challenges remain, particularly when it comes to finalizing the engine choice for the production version. Undoubtedly, projects like the Tejas and especially the AMCA are a crucial part of India's future as they help set the benchmark for more advanced projects and set up an ecosystem in the country. The reality is that the pace of development is lagging far behind China. Along the Atlantic, European nations are also in the race. The United Kingdom, Italy and Japan have also joined forces for the Global Combat Air Programme or GCAP, which aims to produce the next generation fighter jet by the early 2030s. And recently, India was once again invited to join this programme, mainly because it can offer immense resources and technical expertise. So could this be an opportunity for India to leapfrog its way into next generation fighter jet technology? Should India join the GCAP with its allies, Italy, UK and Japan, while side by side developing its own AMCA? Joining international projects like the GCAP and collaborating with global defense leaders could provide the access to technology and resources needed to close this gap. The focus should not just be on catching up with China, but on positioning India as a leader in the next generation aviation race. Furthermore, India's DRDO needs to innovate faster. The focus on autonomous aircraft, combat drones, AI and machine learning in combat scenarios should also be a priority. These technologies are poised to reshape warfare and India can no longer afford to lag behind. India has some tough decisions to make. With China's sixth generation fighter already in the skies, the urgency for India to accelerate its AMCA program and explore international collaborations has never been more critical. Another step could be buying a few squadrons of either the American F-35 stealth jet or the Russian Sukhoi 57 felon jets to maintain adequate power parity with Beijing. Buying a proven fifth generation stealth jet instead of 4.5 generation jets like Rafale or Eurofighter should be a priority under the 114 MRFA project. But with increasing pace of advancements in China, the question remains, can India's air defense ecosystem rise to the occasion and can quick decisions be taken to avoid an emergency? Leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.